This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's roll. What is going on, kings and queens? All right. Got a, uh, I guess it's an unboxing. I could have gone from the Amazon box and opened everything out and took it out, so I just decided I'd take it out. Uh, I have a SanDisk Ultra Micro 64 gigabyte with an adapter. I got this big bag of, it says accessories for GoPro, but I bought it for this here. So we'll see how that works. That's supposed to be like the head pieces and the little tripod. And we'll get to that in a minute. But what I'm really stoked about is this device here. The Brave 6 action camera. Okay. So, um, drag out my phone here. This guy here I paid. Acaso. That's right. Acaso Brave 6 action camera. Uh, 4K 20MP Wi-Fi. Let me see here. Um, that was a okay. Picasso Brave 6, Brave 6 4K 20 mega 20 MP Wi-Fi action camera, voice control, EIS web camera, 100 feet underwater, waterproof camera, remote control, six times zoom underwater camcorder of two batteries and helmet accessories kit. Okay, so I paid 85.99. So I originally was looking for a. Uh, Okay, so I was originally in the market for the Sony, uh, it's the uh, RX-02, and it was originally, when well, I was pricing around $797.12, and someday I probably will get it. Beautiful camera, all kinds of goodies in it, but I just wanted something where I could do, like, you know, if I want to go to a place where I didn't want to lug a whole camera set up, up do sound, everything. I can get some 4K resolution footage, hopefully, with this. And from that 4K resolution, I could then, you know, put it into a video and narrate over it, stuff like that. Just, you know, or I needed another, another angle I could have in, integrated into a movie. I could place this over another side. So if it does the trick, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that. Originally, I was like, oh, man, I really need to buy that huge, uh, that little that little one. I thought, well, maybe I'll give one of these a try and give it a go. Eventually, I would like to get the Sony, but right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up, and we'll see what it's about, okay? So, I'm going to cut that uh, cellophane. Picasso Brave 6. So, I guess that... Just taped or anything like that. No, I guess that slides out. Does that slide out? That's, that's odd. Oh, okay, this thing comes off. This is weird. I never had a difficulties figuring out a box before how to open this. Okay, so this thing, I, okay, I guess I just try to slide it off, but I don't want to slide off, so I'm just going to tear it off. Okay. Okay, so, okay, there's like a little, one of those little side flaps that opens up. Oh, that's pretty cool looking, isn't it? There's a little case that comes on it. Okay, so let's just take this out first and look it over. That's neat, isn't it? So, getting started. Peel off the films on the camera screen, camera lens of the camera, and waterproof case. Make sure battery is full of power for the first time use. Format your micro SD card not included firstly in the camera before using. Now. I'm not sure if that's the right SD card. It just says frequently bought, so I bought it. I'm willing to bet it works okay. If not, I'll probably just step up on another uh, speed or whatever on an SD card, and we'll go from there. But I'm pretty sure this is, might be the right SD card for the job. And this is going to be fun. I want to go out on the river and do some submersion shots in the water, some macro shots in the water. I think that'd be kind of fun to do. So, Okay, so here's the camera, and here's the case. Kind of a cool box. You know, I mean, I might actually just keep this in the in the box. It's kind of nice. It's kind of a nice packaging it comes with. So I'm gonna open this box up on the side here. So I guess these are these are like little pouches. You got, they're numbered. You got two, two, one, two, and three. Okay, well, oops. We'll start with one. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Okay, so this is uh, it's like some type of charger. Picasso, that's the remote control. 
kind of wonder if I should have bought that other bag of goodies because this thing has looks like it has quite a bit. It's a cloth, I think, for the lens. Here's some kind of Velcro strapping for different goods, different items. Some type of like belt clasp tab. A little bracket of some kind, some zip ties. So there's some, okay, I see which, what this is. It's like a little mount. Okay. So that's in bag one. Let's see what's in bag two. Just gonna put all that back in there. It's kind of cool to number them. It's like this is the order we want you to open them in, right? So what do we got here? Another little knob of some kind. I wonder if that fits on that other piece. Okay, I think this is the bracket that the camera just goes in. Is this the bracket? No, okay, it's another half bracket there. What's that? That's some sort of case cover lid. It's got rubber pieces in the middle there. Maybe that's a backup lid. Maybe it's in case I break the lid or something. Give me more. Okay, so this is cool. I guess this is like what I could clamp to a bicycle or something. And then I can use these various mounts to put, like put one across like this and then put another like this. I don't know. I'll figure all that out when we get there, right? So I'll put these back in the bag, and we'll go over to two. I mean three, we're on two. <laughs> okay, so what's in the bag three? This must be the charging cable. This must, what is this? This is, okay, these are, oh, these are batteries. See, it comes with two batteries. That's pretty slick. So I guess that little charging device, I'll charge those batteries up. And there's the, another two brackets of some kind. Okay. So let's go up and have a look, see at the, there's the Brave camera. Take this portion off here. So I guess some people say that I should push down on this to open it. They say you could bust a lever if you do that. I'm not sure how this quite sure how this opens. Okay, so that's like that. There's like a little snap. Okay, there's a little lever there. So I guess that other piece is another additional door in case something happens to this door, I guess. So here's the camera itself. Here's the Brave 4. That's a little guy in it. <laughs> there's the power button. Here's the so we'll go. I'm gonna go through the instructions, read all this stuff. So I guess here's a USB cable over here. So that's some type of inlet. So I don't think there's a, there's not a jack to go with the microphone in, but I don't really I'm not really worried about the sound quality yet. I think it's just gonna be more for narration type videos. If there's a quick you know, interview that somebody wants to give. I can pull this out and interview it. There's a couple of ports in there. I think this is how you do the side over here. You um, see, so push as you push up, get yeah, up and then out, and then there is the battery port. That's the slot for the S micro SD card. Okay, so that'll be that'll be lots of fun trying to figure that out, and so, so there's a film that I pull off there. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge these batteries. And then maybe the daytime will go out and we can try this out. Try it out in the case. Try it out in some other stuff. So I'm going to charge these batteries. I'll set this aside. And then I'll go ahead and we can go through that big bag of goodies that I just ordered extra. Okay? Alright, so I got those battery cells charging up for this camera. Weird thing about that camera, I couldn't find any like charging brick plug-in that goes with it. I just grabbed and the cord when I found one of my old bricks wouldn't work but my old Android phone cord uh, with one of the I think it was a Samsung brick I plugged it in and it's charging on that. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not but we'll uh, we'll find out. <laughs> so um, what is this? Luke Luxabell 14 in 1 accessories kit for GoPro so I paid uh, $19.99 for this with Amazon Prime. 
So let's just dive in and see what it is. I just, I mean, extra 20 spot. Give me some more options. I don't know if, what it's like, but we'll find out. So what do we got? We got some kind of uh, tripod, uh, snake tripod here, bendy snake thingy. Some sort of uh, bracket with a, with a belt of some kind. So I guess this is a, uh, I guess they wrap that around my something wrist and it has one of those brackets there for the camera, I guess, thing that goes in there. What's this? This looks like a tripod. Of, oh, this is a little selfie stick. That's pretty slick. A little telescoping selfie stick with the piece up there. Put that in. It's pretty cool. I guess this is like a floater dealie. Like if I wanted to go ahead and do some water filming, I can put this underwater. The idea is that if I if I let go of it, it would it would float in theory, it would float and then I can recover it later at the surface. It has a bright color where I can see what's going on, where that's at. If I'm at the river and I lose it. What's this thing here? Some kind of like huge uh, like like body strap that I can put on word on my chest for like mountain biking and stuff like that. I, is this it? Oh, this is the headpiece, I think. Yeah, I put that on the head. I put that on the head there. All right, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little suction cup. Like, I don't know if I would actually put this on my car and like drive with it. I, I want to do some driving with the, with it on the outside and see how it does. I'm trying to think of where I can mount it. Now, I don't know. I'll have to see how strong this is. Maybe this is actually pretty strong. We'll have to find out. We'll see how that goes. What's this thing? These are some stick -em pads of some kind. I think I stick these to something. There's like some sticky pads. And then there's a bracket of some kind. Of thing. Those on the ground. These are like brackets. So I guess I can stick these brackets. There's another one somewhere, but it looks just like this, I think. Let's see if I can find it. It's right here. Okay, so there's a bracket. It's quite a bit for the money though, isn't it? So this is like this must be the, 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 the body strap. Like I guess I put this thing like around my torso to my shoulders, and then there's a bracket here, and I can wear it on my upper chest. You know, do first person type stuff. You know, whatever. I could actually you know take that to the range. That'd be fun. Do some first person shoot videos at the range, or or I can also you know mountain bike or you know, do sports with that. Let's see what are these. Oh, these are like. I'll pull some of these out. We'll look at them. See what's in the bag. Just gonna assume what it is, right? So these are like some kind of brackets. Okay, so these are those brackets here. So I guess these. Oh, I see. These go through here, like so. Is it catching that pin piece on the end there? These are all the same size, aren't they? Am I doing that right? Hmm. What about over here? Okay, gets a little bit of a bike there. It's grabbing that. So I guess this is like a this is like a snap piece. So I'm assuming it goes like right here, like this. I could snap it in like that and have the camera on a spot. Yeah, that's kind of cool because I can like put that in my truck. Oh, see, there's a curvature to that, so I can, I can, I can like take that and put that on a helmet, like a bicycle or skateboard helmet, and I can have a series of helmets, and I can just go ahead and snap the bracket off and just go around to the different brackets that I need. And this is kind of cool because I can take this, like I can take this one and just like, like I could probably buy another one of these cameras and just snap it in there like this and just go on the road and push that button and just be like blah 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 in 4k and give everybody my two cents like they do you do on youtube when they do vlogs okay cool so 
I guess that's what that does. Alright, so what is this in here? This is some kind of plushy baggy to put things in. I don't know what I'm supposed to put in that. It's whatever I want. What's this? Well, this is like, oh, this is, see, see, I'm, I'm like down for something like this. This is simple. As long as it stays on. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a clothes pin. Then it has a bracket on top. So then I can like put this on there. No, not like that. I need something else. But yeah, I can find like a bracket that'll fit that and put that on here. And then it's like a clothes pin. I could just like clip that to something, clip it to a shirt, clip it to some clothes. I don't know, maybe clip it to some, maybe you know, clip it to a tree, like a tree branch. And then you already got a camera mounted point. Well, I don't know, there's probably some law against that. Clip it, you know. But anyway, you know, you it, it's like a clip. It's pretty cool, huh? I think I got it all. Yeah, I got it all. Wait, one more. What is this? What is this? It's just some. It's like it's like some kind of handle. What does that go to? What does that go to? It's like it's like a wrench. It's like a handle for something. Hmm. This will be interesting going through all this stuff, though. I actually think I can plan on using this. Yeah, you know, like I don't know. Like I buy stuff sometimes and be like, oh, then I don't need it. See there it is. There's this thing. See that? So I just stick that on the hood of my truck, snap that there, and I can like drive around. You know. Or actually, I could put it on the handlebars of my motorcycle and drive around my motorcycle. So anyway, there's there's that. That's that's that was that. And then, okay, I left the camera here. Here's the camera. Okay, see, there's a clip already on this thing. So, see, let's just try this out for, for see how this this carries over. Look, just like that. That's a perfect fit. That's from that from this bag of goods here I just bought. I could stick one of these in my truck. And then, you know, just be like, turn that on. Just talk about my day. Just tell you all about it. All that happened. You know, well, I'm not like this. I got to take it out of the case. I have to put that. There's a bracket that this comes in, and I can like set that up, and then I can tell you all about my day. You know, you know, tell you tell you all about the, you know the, the 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 politics, whatever, like they used to do back in the day. Of course, I could just use my cell phone gun and go live on my cell phone. But. All right, so that's what that's about. See if I can get this. See how easy this comes off. Okay, okay yep, there you go. Backed it out. Just like that. So there is that. Okay, so, and then, final item, pretty self explanatory. The SanDisk Micro SDXC UHH1 with adapter. Now, there's one, there's one, I think it's called an Extreme. If that doesn't pick this up, I'm going to go for the Extreme. And I don't know if there's a limit on these things. I don't know if it's necessarily up to 64 gigabytes, but yeah, we'll we'll find out. We'll we'll, we'll take this journey together. I promise. So, so tomorrow I'm gonna might I might take you know what it'd be fun take the dogs out on the for a walk. And I got the dog I have like a, I have like a dog carriage and I put them in. I can like set that on the dog carriage and just go around and sample footage. You know, sample footage walking down the street. Alrighty guys, so did a little bit of testing with this thing. I'll turn it on. Touch that, pull my finger on this button here. Screen comes on, that piece lights up. Please insert SD card. So, I just did a little bit of uh, editing and <clears throat> uploading and whatnot. So, oops, make sure that's in the right way. And so the thing with this guy is, I might have knocked the battery loose. <laughs> okay, so push the front button once, it goes in the stills. Push the front button again, camera setting, video setting, resolution. So I push the top button to get into that, push the front button to activate that. No, that's never mind. Okay, top button, top button. Then I use the up button to go to 4K, top button again to set it at 4K. And that's that's it. 
and I just back off. So that's the video setting there. Now I'm in 4K. So I'll do it again. Push it the first time, goes into stills. Second time, goes into settings. Push the top button. Image stabilization. Record motion detection off. So I guess I can do motion detection. I should try to do some motion detection, see if that how that works. Maybe I can try that. Let me gonna try. Let me just try. Let's just try motion detection right now. Motion detection on, on. And back out. So I'm pushing the front button to back out. Let's see if it works now. See, I put my hand in front of the device and it begins to record. See that? Turn it off. So let's try it again. Motion detection. Oh, motion detection. It's not some motion. Hold on a second. Hand in front. On. Hand in front. It still stays on. So I guess it stays on until I grab the remote control and turn it off. So you know what? Kind of cool. I guess that's a feature that will that will work pretty good. So I'm gonna go back in. Camera still. Gonna turn it off. Camera still. Button twice. Come on, cut it out. You try return. Turn it on again. Turn it on again. Okay. So. Okay, so motion detection. Oh, there's motion detection. It's back again. I wonder if I'm just like not gonna be able to set this again. Because <laughs> I can't. I gotta put on a tripod to set it. Turn it off. Turn off the record. Gently come under here. Go into stills. Go into menu to video play settings. See how I did that? I had to set that on the ground so there's no motion or very little motion. Go into video settings. See, there I am back in again. So I guess this is what I had to do. Turn it off. Push that, turn it off again. Push that front button. Sorry to complicate this, guys. So I push the front button again. So I'm back in the set, video settings. Hit that top button. Hit the bottom button. Into motion detection. Off. That's off. So I don't have to mess with that anymore. Okay, so let's see. Off. I don't know what WDR is. What's WDR? Auto record date stamp. Um, date stamp's off. It shows like a time date stamp. I have it off. So, let's see. Motion detection off. Okay, so let's see. Auto record off. Oops, 4K. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to here. So put the top button, video playback, video playback, camera setting. So here, in this... Push it another, so push it the third time. Go into camera setting. Voice control is off. So let's try voice control. Want to try voice control? Let's try voice control. Let's turn voice control on. Okay. Go! Maybe I have to program it first. Go. So I might have to program that first. Okay. So I'm going to go back and take voice control off. I'm probably going to use that remote control most of the time anyway. Auto power off. Three minutes. Let's see. Voice control off. Format. So here's where I format the uh, uh, device. Oops, maybe not. Camera setting, photo setting, playback, video playback. So go into that. Oops. So I keep getting my buttons confused. So go into that. Down, version, default setting, format. Okay. So I'll go into format, SD card. All data will be deleted. Okay, please wait. So I just formatted the SD card. So I just format the card. Now I'm trying to go up and show you something here. White balance, automatic. I keep all that stuff auto. Voice prompt off. 
You can see some of the options they have in this thing. I'm looking for um, angle driving mode. I don't know what that is. I just use the remote control for that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to photo setting, video setting. There we go, video setting. Image stabilization. I'm on 4K. That's what I want. Date stamps off. Auto record. Motion detection. Resolution. Uh, uh, darn it. It's just there. Back down to angle. There we go. The top button for what I want. 170 degree, 140 degree, 110 degree, 170 degree. Typically, all the footage I'm in. I think I've been running is 170 degree and I like that it gives me a wider field of view so I think that's what it is it's the it's the, the, the angle and I'm actually liking I'm actually liking that high 170 degree it really seems like it just doesn't like isn't like like right up in the face you know so I'm cool with that okay so anyway that's what it is go back to my photos back to my camera so like I say that's how you do that you hit the button once that's that's your your camera you want to take a still that's how you get into your still you hit that button a second time hit that button a third time and you got your menu and then you use your buttons to navigate your menu so it's just a just a quick little walk through so here's some footage of me uh, walking I got the dog carriage I have the camera on a selfie stick so it might be a little jittery just kind of enjoying the day. You may hear some of my dogs kind of. There's one. There's one. There's the other one. <laughs> so just me getting some sample footage in. Um, just running along. I think you can see the time stamp in the bottom left corner. I since put in the setting to get rid of that. And it's. Uh, I'm a lot happier now that that is gone. So it's 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 been it's kind of fun with these little like ground level type. Percep per perception shots, you know, you want to get close to things. It was, it seems like it does a pretty good job at that. So I'm coming around the corner here and uh, up the up the sidewalk. So that's that was a lot of fun doing that, you know, just going for a walk, intermittently turning it on and off. I'll just kind of be quiet now. Let's see if you can hear some of the sound. So yeah, it's been pretty good, huh? So far. Okay. So coming up to a corner here. Here I am up in the in the uh, wooded section of the park. I kind of do a couple little uh, swoop downs with the camera shots. I'll. I'll just kind of shut up while I do that. There's the dog carriage, but when it comes time. But it's kind of fun panning around slowly, just kind of seeing. It's, um, you know, when I'm on the selfie stick, the screen's a little further away, so I just can't really see a lot of the, uh, what you would call it, the, uh, um, what's on the screen, but it's, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's, um, you know, I, it's kind of the thrill of seeing what I got when I get back home and put it on the computer, seeing how it looks. Try to get close to the couple of plants here, see if I can kind of get a macro effect. I don't really do too good on that. Okay, here's this. This was kind of fun. I uh, come along the edge and I'll try to get close to these rocks to make them look like they're bigger than they really were. So this, I'll swoop up and I'll land, and you can kind of hear the um, device actually telling me it's low power. I might be able to actually go in and alter those settings and take them off. See right here. So I said I wasn't going to strap it to the front of the truck, but here I am, 
going for it first thing. I get the suction cup on the truck hood. Uh, come around the back here. We come throw it around the front. Turn it on. So, gonna get on the road and do a little video footage. There we go. Getting it straightened up. That's the remote control in my hand there. Fun times. Fun times. Now here I am at idle. I want to pull over to do this. I don't want to operate this while I was driving. And if you look in the top uh, left corner, there's a little dot that intermittently goes on. That's me pushing the remote control. And here I am driving down the street, just taking off and going through. I go through town here, just having some fun. I'll be kind of quiet so I can let you can hear a little bit of how it sounds. turn get on the highway with a little more action So I'm hoping this is giving a pretty good feel for you guys. This is kind of a cool study to see what it's like in motion, kind of hear some of the sound. And this is kind of really what I wanted to do is just do a lot of narration while taking footage and talking over the footage at the same time. So, not bad, huh? What do you think, guys? Pretty good. Maybe for the money. Gets me into a 4K action cam. Can't complain about that. So here I am down at the river, ready to give her a dunk. Got the selfie stick out. And there it goes. Pretty good underwater. Um, see the weeds and stuff underground. Pretty, I mean, underwater, <laughs> underwater pretty clearly. I think I can see a lot of potential for you know looking, doing shots that are underwater like this, and just kind of, you know, just kind of gives me an advantage at, at uh, you know recording nature. This particular river, I wouldn't you know step into it for a million bucks. It's Pretty, pretty hectic on current, so I'm trying to keep my distance here. For the money, what do you guys think of that, huh? Not bad. So, can't complain about that. Can't beat that with a stick. Mmm. So... All right, guys, you know, I just got to you know, say I got a bit of a generalist channel here. I just kind of get something new and I put it up on screen and I show everybody how to 
kind of not show everybody, but just kind of show myself walking through it. I mean, there's probably a lot more this camera can do if I really got into the nitty gritty and went into every little setting and showed everybody. But dang, for the money, I mean, the first video that I put up, the sample video, it's showing as 4K on, on YouTube. So, like, the ability to get into 4K for, like, that amount of money is just amazing. Let me see what I paid for this thing real quick. I just uh, look it up here. Hundred again total for three items, but the but the but the the vice in that box and that white box is eighty five ninety nine. So they get into four K for eighty five ninety nine. That's what blew my mind right there. And I got another one coming up. I, I just bought a new one, another another camera coming up that I always wanted to get. But for for that money, to get into four K. I mean, it doesn't look half bad, you know. Sounds all right. I say I'm, I'm not really going to be in the sound. I'm going to use it just to kind of drop in um, my own my own narrations. I use this uh, I use this recorder here, and I make my I just make my own recording soundtracks. Then I'll just drop in the soundtrack onto the line, and so it'll show the footage. And I'll basically what I'll do is I'll just cut back the the, the sound from this or lower it down. I'll just then I'll go ahead and drop in my voice narration from this, and that's how I'll do a narrated video. So it's uh, I mean for the for the money, if you're a budding YouTuber and you want and you want 4K like that first video, like I said, it's showing up as 4K on YouTube. So, so all righty guys, um, like I say, I'm a general I guess kind of a general channel just kind of shows stuff like hey this is what I got I open it up maybe I take a trip and show you a trip. You know, go on a vacation, take me, take the camera with me. Mm. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just, I think I've learned that putting video out there, expressing myself, you know what I mean? For a long time I was off of YouTube and I was just kind of like, you know, I didn't really care for a lot of the, you know, guff I would get for coming online. But I learned that if I don't worry about the haters and just let, let the haters worry about me, things kind of fall into place. So that's what you should do. You should don't worry about the haters. Just let the haters worry about you. All right? And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.